Hello and welcome to the Sacred Gates Ascension podcast. My name is Ilura and welcome back to the channel if you've been following along. If you're someone who enjoys working with your chakras is that just say if you're working on your throat chakra because you've got a sore throat or you've got some tension there and you're focusing locally so you're localizing your attention onto this one area. Now first of all location is an illusion. You can connect to your throat chakra anywhere at any time. You can even you know, connect to your throat chakra in an image that's external to you. So you can really see how we can really, we're really working with all these illusionary time and place. But more to the point, when we're working with the throat chakra and we're wanting to release the area, it's quite common for us to, to focus on releasing tension, releasing toxins, releasing unsaid things or whatever it is that's coming up in the throat, the throat area. We often re release locally. So we focus on healing locally just in this area, but we also focus then on just uh, releasing just in this area. Now it makes sense, especially if you're coming from a more medical Western perspective, which often we, we, we focus on the issue uh, specifically in where it is and the symptoms that we're finding. Now if you go to a more Eastern Chinese traditional medicine model, we look at the, we take into account what the actual issue the patient's coming for, but we're actually then looking at the entire system and we treat the entire body as a body mind. This area is connected to the entire body. And so I, I feel like that's a great model. Uh, of course, Western medicine has its its pluses, but I love that the, the other models work on the entire, like the Vedic system, Indian system to work on the entirety of the entire body. So physically, emotionally, mentally, the skin, the organs, everything is principle based and takes you through the entire body. And I feel like you can also then connect to your, just say you're working on your throat chakra, when you actually release you can release through your whole body you don't have to release just here so it's good training to learn how to release locally in one area I think that's great training but it's also something special is being able to release spherically so if you imagine like with the aura we're an actual orb like an entire sphere of energy our physical body is is like inside like a little egg of energy a giant egg of energy then when we release we can actually release 360 we can release here you can also release out the back of your throat the sides of your throat but you can actually release through your entire body your entire backside your entire front side your entire side side left side entire body so yoga nidra is a great practice for getting in contact with your sides there are many practices you can do to help you get in contact with your whole body and the reason why that is really helpful is so that when you learn how to release entire your entire body you can release your throat through a much larger release valve your entire body so like I said I think it's helpful to learn how to release locally but also globally in a sense your entire body thanks for listening guys bye bye now